Hey, good morning, everybody. So I wanted to share with you how to get a business number for your notary business. Now, um, there are a lot of different wireless carriers, but if you want to go the free route, then Google Voice is the way to go. So I'm going to show you, excuse me, how to set that up. So let me go to my browser here. <clears throat> And we're going to go to Google Voice. So pull up a Google window, type in Google. Now, I already have a Google Voice number set up, but what I'm going to try to do is see if I could do it on an account I don't already have a number for. So let's see. Now, for my notary business, I do have a number. I don't use it anymore. I am currently using mint.com, um, mintmobile.com for my business phone number, which leads me to also let you know you do have to already have a phone number. So for some of us, we just don't want to have to purchase another phone, right? You want to be able to just use the same phone you already we have this is use your primary cell phone to connect your business phone line to so that's what google voice does google voice gives you a free phone number and you are able to link that free phone number to your business cell phone okay now i know some people are like well how do you know if your business is calling versus a regular number so when you have the google voice phone number you want to save it in your phone under your business name, okay? So that when numbers call your Google Voice number, your business name will pop up. That's how you will know is someone calling your business line versus your personal phone. But anyway, let's see here. So I already have a phone number set up for my um, notary business, like I told you. I don't use it anymore more but let's see okay let's set up a google voice number for my personal email all right so if you see here at the bottom it says to call and text get a google voice number so you want to click this black window here at the bottom left click get a number okay you want to type in your city or the area code for which you want your phone number to be so I'm going to type in um, Fort Lauderdale because I am in Florida. And look, it says no Google Voice numbers are available for Fort Lauderdale. So let's type in a zip code, 33319. There we go. Oh, no, but look, it's giving me numbers for Alabama. Let me try to move my screen up some. Now that makes me a little shorter doesn't it okay i'm in front of my window so it's kind of a glare all right so as you can see here it's not giving me any phone numbers for my, my area so that's where it gets tricky if your area doesn't have any free phone numbers for your location i guess that can kind of you know be a, a bummer um let's type in 954 there we go now see it's that's here for Lauderdale numbers. Okay, anyway, so I typed in the area code for which I want my number to be. And it gives you these different numbers here. I like it to, this is just a preference of mine, I like to pick numbers that are easy to remember for my customers, just in case, you know, they're not able to remember the number, they're just trying to go off the top of their head. Although I know everybody saves numbers nowadays in their phone, but you know, that's just my personal preference, probably because I from an era where we didn't use phones to save numbers. We use phone books. I know I look young, but yeah. Anyway, so let's see. Here's Deerfield. I like this number, 954-501-0552. So I'm going to pick that number. Click Select. To complete setup and start using Google Voice, you need to verify your existing phone number. Remember, I told you you do need to already have an existing phone number. So I'm going to verify my existing phone number number. I'm going to type in my phone number. Um, 
shoot. I mean, I have to type in my personal phone number. All right, well, here we go. The code, and I'm gonna wait for my cell phone. It's going to send a code to my personal cell phone. And here we are. Okay, so I'm gonna type in that code and click verify. My phone number is connected to another Google Voice account. Claim this number will remove it from other account and any forwarding will be canceled. That is fine. I'm going to claim. And this phone number has been successfully linked to my Google account so that I can use my Google phone number. Click finish, it's going to verify. And there you go. That phone number is all mine. I'm gonna click finish. All right, and then you can start using your phone number. Now, I wanna go ahead and show you, let me test this out. I'm going to save this phone number in my phone under my business name, okay? So I'm gonna type in um, Burjo Notary, okay? And I'm gonna add the phone number, 954. 5010552 and done. So now I have the number saved in my phone under Burjo comma notary. Now, if you click the gear here, that's settings. Okay, it shows you your Google Voice number. If you scroll down, it shows you your personal number is linked to this Google Voice number. You could also port a number over to Google Voice if you like, or transfer a number over, okay? Or messages to email, okay? I like to do that just in case I'm in an area and I don't get the uh, missed call. If I get a message, it'll go right to my email, okay? Outgoing calls. When you make outgoing calls, how do you want to make them. Do you want to always um, always use my phone to place calls? Do you want your caller ID to show up as anonymous? You do want to hide your caller ID or outgoing calls? For incoming calls, you can select which device you want to answer incoming calls on. Do you want to answer incoming calls on your computer or iPad um, or your phone? And then here where it says call forwarding. Remember, this Google Voice number, anyone who calls is going to forward to your personal number that you put for the Google Voice to forward to. You could also do a custom call forwarding. I've never tried that. Get email alerts for missed calls. Yes, I like that feature. Screen calls. So this, if you click screen calls, this is where when a customer calls you, it's going to say, please state your name for their Google Voice caller. They're going to say their name. And then it's going to say, please wait while we connect you to the Google Voice user. Some people don't like that feature. Some people do, especially if you are trying to weed out scam calls or spam. So you can click this and the person will say their name. I'm going to test that out for you so you can hear it. And do you want to show your Google Voice number as caller ID when forwarding calls? You want to click yes. Why? Because I just saved this number in my phone under my business name. So when someone calls the Google Voice number, my Google Voice number is going to show up on the caller ID. And because I have it saved under Burjo, comma, notary, Burjo, comma, notary is going to show up. Okay. So I'm clicking that. And I'm click screen call so you guys can hear how that sounds. Um, if you want to send calls directly to voicemail, you can. We don't want to do that. You can also set up your own greeting. Okay. Now this default greeting, um, it's just a generic, you know, you reach a Google Voice user, please leave a message or whatever. You can record your own greeting so that it sounds professional and it relates to your business. Okay. All right. So now that I have set that all up, let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to use my business phone number to call this phone number for Google. And dang, I guess I want to remove my background so that you guys can see my phone because I think when I I hold my phone up, you're not able to see, right? Let's see. Uh, 
What do you need? Yeah, you do need to see because I want you to see it shows up. Okay, let's see how I can do that. Hold on, guys. I'm going to remove my virtual background. Okay, let's put no. My background itself isn't bad, but I just wanted to use the Google. I mean, use the um, virtual background here. Hold on just a second. Make sure it's nothing up that you guys can hold on just a second. All right, there we go. Now, let's go ahead and test this out. Oh, wait, I need the phone number. What is the phone number? Okay, here's the phone number, 954-501-0552. I want you to see what comes up when I call. Uh oh Oh, it's calling in on, oh, here we go. You see that? It says Bergeau Notary. Now, the one thing that you guys can't see is it didn't say. Let me end that. So I wanted it to be able to make me say um, my name for the Google caller because I want you to hear how that sounds. And. I need to go back to settings because it was ringing in my ear too on the computer. I don't want it to do that. So let's see. Um, go back here. Um, incoming calls. Oh, you have to click web off. I'm going to turn the web off. It's going to go only to my phone. Okay. And I want to screen calls. I want to hear a caller's name when I pick up. Oh, so. Okay. All right. So let's try this again, guys. Trial and error. Okay. We're going to do this again. It's not asking me to do it. Let's see what happens if I answer it. No, it's not doing it. It's supposed to do it. Let's answer. Oh, it already knew who was calling. Okay. So I'm going to call again and put this on speaker for you guys to hear it. Sorry. So I didn't have to say my name. It already had my caller ID, so for my, my business phone. So let's see here. Call from B, Elise Notary SVCs. Please press, press one. To send a voicemail, press two. Okay, you see how that works? So you can listen to the name of the person who's calling, press one to accept the call or press two to send them directly to voicemail, okay? I like that feature, some people don't. So if you don't like that feature, just tick the button here and turn screen calls off. That way they will just call you directly, but you do want to keep it on show my Google voice number as caller ID when forwarding calls. So that way you know your business, somebody's calling your business line. Because if you're using your personal phone, people who don't have a caller ID, most people don't answer. And you wanna make sure that you're answering, you know, as your business, when someone calls your business phone. Like for me, when people call my business phone, I say, hello, you've reached Bergeau, be at least notary services, how can I help you? Or hello, you've reached be at least notary services, this is Bergeau, how can I help you? Okay, so, I don't have Google Voice 
for my business phone anymore. Like I told you, I use Mint. This is a iPhone that I purchased on eBay for $100 or did I pay $120? It was either $100 or $120. It's a um, iPhone SE. I like it and it's unlocked. So I can go with any wireless carrier I want. I'm currently using mintmobile.com if you're interested. I think I shared a referral code. Um, I'll share it in the comments here of this video. If you guys are interested, go ahead and sign up. I get a little money for referring you. And that's it. That is it. And then don't forget to record a custom greeting for your business if you're going to be um, using Google Voice as your business phone. So I hope that this guy, this helped you guys, I'm sorry, to go ahead and set up a business phone free with Google Voice for your business. Remember, if you have any questions, please leave that in the comments below the video. Don't forget to click that bell to subscribe for more um, videos and notifications of new videos and go ahead and follow. I'm gonna stop sharing. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye for now.